Hello friends, I'm Dr. Prashant Sharma and you're watching Medico's Hub. In this video on renal system, I am going to discuss the blood supply of kidney. This is the dorsal aorta or abdominal aorta. The renal artery branch off perpendicular to it and near the hilum it divides into few anterior and posterior branches. These are anterior branches and this one is posterior branch. The anterior branches move like this towards the renal columns of Bartini and these divide into interlobular arteries. So, this is abdominal aorta. It gives rise to renal artery. So this is abdominal aorta. This is renal artery. Now these are anterior branches. This one, this one, this one. These are all anterior branches and this one is posterior branch. These are all anterior branches. This one is posterior branch. So renal artery divides into anterior and posterior branches. Then these anterior and posterior branches divide into inter lower arteries. So these give rise to inter lower arteries. These interlobar arteries near the base of medullary pyramid will form arcuate arteries. So these are arcuate arteries. So interlobular interlobar arteries give rise to arcuate artery. This arcuate artery give rise to many interlobular arteries. These are interlobular arteries. So arcuate artery give rise to interlobular arteries. Then these interlobular arteries give rise to many branches which are known as afferent arterioles. If this is an afferent arteriole then it will give rise to glomerulus which is present in Bowman's capsule and this glomerulus will again come out of Bowman's capsule as afferent arteriole. Uh, efferent arteriole. So this is afferent arteriole, this one is glomerulus and this one is efferent arteriole. So interlobular arteries give rise to afferent arterioles. Then the bunch of capillaries that is glomerulus is formed which will again reunite to form efferent arterioles. Now after that, that is after efferent arterioles, it's important that these arterioles will form capillary bands. These capillary bands are termed as 
पेरिटिबुलर कैपिलरीज और वासारेक्टा इफ कॉर्टिकल नेफ्रॉन्स आर देयर देन पेरिटिबुलर कैपिलरीज एंड इफ जक्स्टा मेडुलरी नेफ्रॉन्स आर देयर दीज आर If juxtamedular nephrons are there, vasa recta will be formed. Then these will unite to form interlobular veins. Then arcuate veins. Then interlobar veins are formed. and 5 to 6 interlobar veins finally reunite to form renal vein which will end in inferior vena cava so this is all about the blood supply of kidney hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications